First of all, in my previous episodes, you may have noticed that the framing was off. I did this purposely to see how much of you AP artists out there really knew about video production. And guess what? You failed. Now, there was only one guy that really caught that. Unless your folks are just trying to be nice to me. I don't know. But anyway, so this is what we're going to talk about as the rule of thirds. Only one person caught it, and I'm going to read his review as stated on AssetPlanet.com. Okay? It says, uh, very nice job. Hi, Ronnie. Very well done. The info and details into this episode were short, fast, but at the same way, very clear to see and understand. Maybe into the future episode, you can make a small lift of your body. Currently, your body and head is a little near the downside of the screen. Sort of like you're falling out. If this is fixed next time, the view of the general picture is going to give a better result. Looking forward to your next edit. Regards, Philippi, from DJMC Harry, from Belgium. Thank you, Harry, and I'm glad that you noticed out of everybody else on Acid Planet that watches my tutorial series. Let's talk a little bit about the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is basically if you pretend while looking at your screen, you have an imaginary tic-tac-toe board drawn, you'll have horizontal lines and vertical lines. And they'll be separated into thirds. Three on the top, three in the middle, and three on the bottom. Where the two horizontal lines intersect in the middle is what you really want to look at. That's where you want to place items of interest, and also you use, mostly in interviews or talking situations, you'll use the top, as we're doing in this particular scene right now, you lose use the top third line to frame the eyes of an interviewer or such as a speaking scene back and forth. So this is how you use the rule of thirds. Another thing I would like to point out is when you're using the rule of thirds, if you're filming a horizontal line such as a beach or water scene, you don't want to have that horizontal line directly in the middle of the scene. You want to either have it on the lower third or the upper third. And this makes for a much better looking picture. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about a close-up shot. As you're seeing in this particular scene, it's okay to chop off the head, but never the chin. You want to keep an actor's mouth in full view at all times. So that's one thing to remember when filming close-ups. Should I zoom in or should I move in? Most video professionals will tell you that moving in is a much better approach to getting that better shot. Let's take a look right now at the difference between zooming in and moving in. As you can see in this shot, as I zoom in, as much as my camera can zoom in, you notice the picture will start to shake. Now this is caused because the camera cannot fully focus on the image because it's zoomed in all the way at its most highest power zoom and it's trying to keep the picture clear. So now let's look at the camera again, the same shot, but this time we're going to move in. Now this looks much better and you don't have to worry about that shaky picture that you'll get from zooming in. Also keep in mind though, if you're using your camera in manual mode, you'll have to refocus your lens as you move closer to the image so it doesn't move out of focus. So you say you want the film look, but you only have a cheap digital camera? Well, then I have a treat for you. Let's talk a little bit about plugins. No, not that kind of a plugin. Let's talk about video plugins. Really enhance the quality of your video production. I use a plugin for Vegas Video called Magic Movie Looks. It's a bit expensive, but it really pays out in the long run. I'm going to take you through a couple of scenes that I shot right here, like a little short sequence of a movie, which is really not in a movie, but just pretend that it is, of, um, of me. I'll be coming out of my vehicle, and uh, I don't know what I'll be doing. But let's take a look at the first shot of this small sequence, and uh, this will be the plain look without any uh, plugins whatsoever, just, just shot regular, 
and then we'll look at it again with enhanced visual effects from the plugins and maybe a few sound effects thrown in there. So let's have a look. Dispatch to Lincoln 20. Lincoln 10 8. The suspect should be considered armed and dangerous. In pursuit. So that was pretty cool, wasn't it? And wow, the difference between a regular digital camera and a simple plug-in from Magic Bullets Editors. Really snazzy stuff. Make you look like a professional. And uh, all I did was use one of the plugins in there, applied it to the video, added a few sound effects in there, and voila, your production becomes viewable pleasure. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed this Lights Camera action, and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you soon! Lights.